So I got a tip off this morning from a lovely neighbour that I might want to walk this way when I went on my walk with the children this morning. There they are. And you can see I'm in the middle of the most amazing ring, it's huge, of parasol mushrooms. Now parasol mushrooms, in my opinion, are one of the easiest things to identify once you've got to grips with what you're looking for. So, oh, it doesn't want to focus on them. So this is our, our beautiful parasol. Um, there we go. And what you can see is it's got these lovely scales that kind of flick up at the edges and they're darker in the middle and more concentrated out to the edges where there's, oh, they come off, look, where there's just a few. Um, but they're on this kind of streaky brown background. Sometimes they're paler than this. Um, and, uh, and there are a few things that look like this. Look, fluffy edges, says Macrolepiota to me. Um, but uh, chlorophyllum species do look very similar. In the UK, we don't have to worry about that too much because chlorophyllum species are shaggy parasols. And while some people might get a tummy ache from eating them, they're not dangerous. Um, in places other than the UK, there is a, a species called Chlorophyllum molybdites, um, and that has green spores. So as it matures, the, the gills will go green, and that really is quite nasty to eat, so we wouldn't want to eat that. Um, how we identify the true parasol, this Macrolepiota, is on the bottom of it. So can you see how, how big that is? It's just enormous. And the features we're looking for are this amazing snakeskin pattern can you see, as ever, it doesn't want to focus on the bit I wanted to focus on. There we go. So this snakeskin pattern, this one's a bit dry, but it will scratch off or rub off. It is a separate thing to the surface of the, the stem. It's kind of laid on top. Um, the other thing on Macrolepiota is that if you gently tease, this ring, be gentle because it's a, uh, oh, that one's not going to want to do it now because it's split in half, but it is separate. Can you see where it's peeled away all the way around? And you can often get it to slide up and down on the stem. I'll try another one just so I can show you. So if you just gently tease it down, it'll slide. It is harder when they're dry, but it is happening. I can feel it sliding down. There. It doesn't help that it gets thicker as it goes down, so maybe we should be going up. Um, and that movable ring, that ring that if you tease it gently, will start to be slidable up and down the stem. There we go. Nice. Um, that's another feature of Macrolepiota. So this snakeskin pattern that rubs off, this movable ring, big white gills and a bulbous base on the bottom and those things along with the pattern on top and the sheer size of it so this is bigger than my hand it is a really big mushroom um, so there are smaller things lepiota dapplings um, that have a very similar appearance to this on top they don't have the the snakeskin pattern that rubs off and the movable ring um, but they are they can be very, very dangerous. Um, they are smaller than this. So this massive size, the great big long stem and the features that I've mentioned means you can be quite confident that you found Macrolepriota precaria, which is a parasol mushroom. Um, do press subscribe on the button underneath the video uh, and the bell if you want to be notified. It does help to, to have these things while you're trying to get established as a YouTube channel. Um, and do go for a walk, it seems like. There are plenty of lovely things out. Oh, hello. <laughs>